Hi everyone, it's Miss Lauren, and today we are going to learn how to make some origami succulents. So um, we have our origami paper up here. We're gonna make six out of these. We're gonna use these for another one. And yeah, it should be really cool. So when it's all done, you guys will be able to make your succulent look kind of like this. This was my example of the first one. And as you can see, it kind of looks like an aloe vera plant. It actually looks pretty cool. And I will not be showing you how to make the box because it's very hard and it would take maybe a half hour and I don't think you guys would want to watch me do that. But I will post a link to the box that I used for our succulent. So first things first. We are gonna go like this, and I'm only gonna do it once, but you guys, okay, so sorry about that. First things first, we're gonna fold it in half, like so, then we're gonna open it up, and we are going to fold this in half like that, right on the middle of the middle crease. Then we're gonna take this side right here, and we are gonna overlap it kind of like this, so that it's not necessarily up against the other paper, but more so that it's touching like this and we still have our little point. Okay, so we've got that done. And it's folded down plenty. Next up, we are going to unfold it. We are gonna place the longer side inside of the fold. So the one that was longer, we're putting it there. We are going to match up the bottom just like so to make sure that, the, uh, that there's space, you know? So like that, or no space, I should say. Next, we're gonna smooth everything out and we're gonna fold this back like normal, like how it was, just like this. And then we're gonna fold it one more time. So this kind of looks like a diamond at the top or more like a triangle. And mine wasn't super pointy, but I bet you'll be able to make yours super pointy. And then we will fold this down like so but then also fold it like this so that there's a little triangle. And we're gonna fold it up like this, just like that. So here is how we're gonna make the big spice, spiky, the big spiky spikes for our aloe vera plant. So I'm gonna pause the video and I am going to make five more of these until we get to the next step. We'll just go over it one more time because I know that I kind of got cut off the last time. So we're gonna fold it in half, like so. And I'm trying to go as slow as possible. So we've got it folded in half like a triangle. We're gonna open it up so that you can see the crease down the middle. We are gonna fold one side right to that crease, like so. Now the next side is going to kind of overlap a little bit, but we still want it to have a point. So they're not gonna be exactly matched up. Okay, and then we open it and we put the big one underneath. Then we put that guy here and we fold it in once, like so. And we fold it in twice, like so. Next up, we make our little triangle fold like this. And then remember we fold the one and half again, and then you fold it like that. So now I've got three made, so I will be back shortly. Okay, so I've got five, six. So do you remember how we had these guys with the little flippy flaps? So what we're gonna do is we are gonna kind of connect them all so that their flippy flaps are connected and they make it kind of look like that. See, like that? So we are gonna do this guy's flippy flap, put him in the back, like so. And we're gonna leave it like that. And you can see we've got the three like this. And we're gonna put this guy in the front and have his flippy flaps cover the rest of them, like so. And this guy next. So I know I'm obviously not the best at teaching origami since I'm sitting here like, oh yeah, the flippy flaps. Um, so I'll also post the link from the video that I used while recording this. Okay, 
So we've got them together and we just kind of want to move them like this. Move them like this. And what I'm going to do next is I'm actually just going to um, rubber band them. Just like this. Like so, so nothing happens. And then yeah, you could kind of separate them apart like this, like that, move them over so they're super spiky. And then you can kind of just plop them in your little pot or whatever you decide to put them in, and that's this one. We're gonna do one more. Okay, so now you can see I cut my origami paper in fours. So we are gonna make these smaller leaves now. So very similar to how we started before was, and if they're not completely cut perfect, totally fine. Mine very much are not, but we wanna fold them in half like so. And we're gonna open them up again and make sure we see that crease. We are going to take one of the inside corners and fold it right into the center. And then we're going to repeat that. So on the bigger ones, when we kind of overlapped them, these ones are going to want to stay like this. Also, isn't this like the coolest paper? Okay, so make sure everything's fine here. We're pointy, we're folded, we're good to go. So we are going to turn this sucker around. And we're going to turn this way so that the behind of our paper is not showing. We're going to fold it like that. I should move these. And we are going to fold inside like this. So we're going to, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So we're going to take this corner here and we are going to fold it in like so. So mine isn't that even, but it shouldn't matter. It should still be good. Fold them like this and so that you guys have the two kind of triangles here. The triangles of white or whatever backside of paper you decide to use. That. And then what we're going to do is we're going to unwrap the guys from before and we are going to carefully tuck them under our big folds. So like so. And then we're going to fold them in again. And we are going to fold them in again. And fold them in that way. And then we are going to make our little triangle guy just like we did for the last one. So remember that. So we'll do it again. We take our paper, we fold it in half. So fold it in half to the best of your ability. You open it and then you fold on the corners like so. And you fold this here. Perfect. And then we turn it around and we bring in these corners like so. You just gotta carefully bring them in. Then we're gonna unwrap and we're gonna fold these here and we're gonna fold them again. Fold these in and then fold them in just like this. And then we're gonna take our middle friend and we're gonna, you know, do our little a little folding to make the little ledge. Okay, so we've got two made. This time I'm going to make eight. So once I record them all, I will turn the video back on again. Okay, so just like our bigger guys, we are gonna kind of just stick them all together and make sure that they are all uh, folded together. Like so. And we've got eight this time, so it might be a little harder to keep them under control. I'm put this guy in the front. Like so. And then we will bring them around just like we did the other guys. And I will rubber band them. And I know they look kind of crummy and folded up this way, but I believe they will get better. So we are just gonna put them all together. And then we are gonna fold them out like, well that one fell out, but like so. So that they are more out, more succulent looking than just an aloe vera plant. So these guys look like a more, more of a succulent. And we'll put this in our little, our little red vase for now. But yeah, we've got our two succulents. 
and I'll post the video to make the box or you can make your own out of paper. But this is what they look like and I hope you guys have fun. I hope my directions were at least partially uh, followable. And let me know if you guys like this program, if you want to see more things like this, or anything of the like. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.